predestination. First Bible lesson, John chapter 9 verses 1 to 3. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man, or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Second Bible lesson, John chapter 11 verses 3 to 5. Therefore his sisters sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he who thou lovest is sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Now Jesus loved Martha, and her sister, and Lazarus. Golden text, Matthew chapter 26 verses 39 to 44. And he went a little further, and fell on his face, and prayed, saying, O my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me, nevertheless not, as I will, but as thou wilt. And he cometh unto the disciples, and findeth them asleep, and saith unto Peter, What, could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray, that ye enter not into temptation, the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away again the second time, and prayed, saying, O my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them, and went away again, and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Destiny cannot be altered. Beloved, this is the revelation the Father has for us this day. Now you would realize why Christ affirmed the fact, whatever he closes, none can open and vice versa. This would certainly strengthen your faith that the heavens, earth, waters, and other things are under the rulership of God. Before you ever came into this world, certain things were written about you and there is no being who can reverse or alter such destiny. All the things you engage in today are also predestined by God, and there is nothing you do which is by your own authority or volition, rather all things happen and take effect, as God has predestined. All the things that happen in the world today were so designed in order to make God's glory manifest. Whenever a person takes ill, we attribute it to his sinfulness and to the sinfulness of his parents. In the same way, when a person dies, we attribute such death to killing by gun, accident, witches, apparitions, etc. If I may ask, is this belief true? Whenever a person is poor or wretched, we attribute same to lack of employment opportunities, insanity, low educational attainment, lack of a charming personality. If I may ask again, is this belief true? The answer is no. No ye therefore, neither fasting nor prayer can reverse the will of God. All the things predestined by God were sealed hence, no change can be effected on them, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Read carefully the revelation of the day, for it would help strengthen your faith and bring you to the accurate knowledge of understanding of the fact, without God's expressed approval, nothing can happen to you. Moreover, different people have their different ways of coming in and out of this earth plane, as recorded in the scriptures, and the route through which one can enter and depart the earth plane is not one, but varied. They abound, as God has designed them and nothing can alter or change same. Some people may be predestined to die by gunshot, by the sword, through accident, war, or even without any form of ailment. So, when you see anyone leaving the world through any of the above-mentioned methods, do not attribute such exit death to anything. Many people do hold the view, a person who died in a motor accident should not have boarded any vehicle in order to escape death. But the question is, have pedestrians not been dying? God is responsible for everything, hence refrain from attributing whatever happens to anything, or being, but to the Almighty God alone. God is the architect of all things and he uses every happening to reveal his glory. It is true, everybody comes into this world through the womb of a woman. And while some people were predestined to come out with their legs first, others hands, still others do come out with their buttocks first. Some people do remain in the womb, for about a year, before they are born, while others are born on the seventh, eighth or ninth month according to their destiny. So, when you see these things happening, do not attribute them to anything. This is, because through these happenings, God's glory is made manifest. Beloved, it is always very pathetic to see people attribute God's glory to juju, mermaid, ghosts, witches and wizards etc. It is also not uncommon to see people attribute every happening to the above mentioned things, but where lies God's glory, if you do this? 
On the other hand, most people attribute one's death to one's sins, but the question is, why have your sins not killed you, upon all your indulgence in sinfulness? Know ye therefore, we are all sinners and none of us would have lived, if it were true that all people do die as a result of their sins. It is not correct to profess, God loves a certain person more than others. Everything happens only, as it was predestined. There are periods God appoints to examine you, and during such periods, diverse temptations are bound to come your way. Realize that during such periods no amount of fasting, prayers, lamentations, etc. can take away such temptations. Do not claim, your prayers are strong, mysterious or efficacious, whenever you pray, because, if God does not grant such prayers, they become inefficacious. During the death of Lazarus, our Lord Jesus Christ prayed to God and God granted his request and God resurrected Lazarus. But what happened on the day of the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ? He prayed for a long time at Gethsemane and he became soaked with sweat, yet his God did not answer his prayers. God refused to grant such prayers, because it was predestined for Christ to be crucified. In fact, there is time for everything, as recorded in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 to the end. If you are loved by everybody on earth, do not conclude, it is because of your good deeds, rather affirm in you, it so happened according to God's predestination about you. Some people claim, two people look identical, but if you take a close look at these people, you would be able to spot some differences in them. And just as the English adage has it, the swiftness of the hand deceives the eye, so do the ways of God confound man. Therefore without God's expressed approval, nothing can happen and it is erroneous to see people migrate from their hometowns or countries and go abroad in order to get jobs, to feel secure, and become rich and to be protected from family problems. No neither prayer nor fasting can reverse or change the will of God or predestination. Everything happens at God's appointed time and so be careful of what you do or claim. I want you and the entire world to ascertain, this sermon is in fact a remarkable and wonderful one. I do not know why great, hidden things are always revealed during the deaconess's meeting with the Father. Until, now most people believe God helps those who help themselves. This is a misconception, because it is only the kid who knows the secret of his kingdom. There is nobody on earth who has the ability to design anything. Rather, all things come into manifestation according to God's design, plan and purpose. You have read in the scriptures, when Rebecca conceived, she was informed, there were two people, constituting two nations struggling in her womb. She was again told, the elder shall serve the younger. By then, these two brothers were yet to be born and they knew nothing evil. But today, it is not uncommon to hear people profess Jacob, out of craftiness took Esau's birthright. Some also profess Esau, out of greediness sold his birthright to Jacob for a spoonful of beans. But these things are all fallacies, because these events were predestined to happen even, before these twins were conceived or given birth to. When Jacob returned from exile, he surrendered himself to Esau but he was not harmed by Esau. Everything is done by the father. For instance, if you are in your house, and suddenly a person walks in to do one thing or the other, do not attribute such action to any creature but to God alone. This is, because God is all in all. Therefore none is capable of doing anything. Once you have this wisdom, you will always engage in thanking the Father for all things he does. Note your failure to thank him cannot change any situation, because God's will at a particular time is bound to be made manifest. People do claim, parents are responsible for their children's progress or frustration in life. They also attribute another man's poverty to a fellow man. But I am telling you, these things are misconceptions. Just as we in the kingdom have the prudence to arrange things, as they are without the things complaining of, where they are positioned, so also has God the prudence to design everything in the world the way he desires, without anything or being complaining. So everything in the world is made possible by God strictly for his glory. Furthermore, though Joseph was the eleventh out of the twelve sons of Jacob, he was exalted as a result of predestination. This started right from the time Joseph dreamt of how he and his brothers were binding sheaves in the field, and lo, his arose and also stood upright and behold his brother's sheaves stood around and made obeisance to his sheaf. His second dream showed how the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to him. Genesis chapter 37 verses 7 to 9. He proclaimed saying to his father and brethren, 
This thing was no man's making, but God's predestination alone that was made manifest. Another instance was that of David who, because he was foreordained to be a